Hey guys, welcome to Book Review 135. Today I will be reviewing Timeless Vietnam, with photographs by Can Tang. Okay, so this is a picture book, if you will, or sort of a coffee table book, more accurately, um, that kind of captures some of the everyday life, you can see these are rice paper cakes, um, in Vietnam. Um, it's really not, uh, other than the captions, which are kind of uh, pretty sparse, uh, there's not a lot of um, uh, reading or analytics, but it's just kind of a nice book to have uh, if you want some of the, uh, I'm going to say beautiful, everyday scenes from Vietnam. Like here's a shrimp farm, uh, you know, in Fisherman. Um... The book's kind of split up into four parts. The first part is Coming Home, I believe. Um, let's see here. The Land That Breathes. It's not Coming Home. Um, so you can see right here. This has a lot to do with sort of agrarian stuff. Uh, things like that. Uh, you know, out in the rice fields. A lot of stuff like that. Um, the second section has to do with fishing. It's from the waters. Let's see, that's a beautiful picture right there. Uh, we got some more really uh, great uh, uh, outdoor uh, fishing scenes. Uh, I've already seen that one. The third one, I believe, if I can find it, is from the hands of the artisans. Let's see if I can't find a couple more from the uh, fishing section that are good. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's a two-pager right there. You know, fishing that out on the river. Uh, you know, Vietnam being a very uh, changing, but still being a very uh, much more agrarian society uh, than a lot of other countries on Earth. Um, you know, relies on obviously rice paddies for their um, most of their uh, carbohydrate needs. I guess you'd say. Um, and obviously have like vegetable plots and things like that, but, uh, eat large amounts of fish just because of, um, how many rivers and lakes, and obviously it's along the ocean there are in Vietnam. So, um, certainly fish are, uh, part of, uh, everyday life, part of everyday eating life. Uh, this is, uh, scenes from, I believe it's artisans, from the hands of artisans. This one I thought looked really cool. That's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, some sort of caught like round, uh, ornamental carving right there. Uh, I don't want to give away all the photos because I want you guys to, uh, actually go and either check this book out from your library. Oh, this is really cool. You know the, uh, rice hats, the rice hay hats, I guess you'd say, that, uh, Vietnamese, uh, people wear, uh, to protect themselves from the sun. Well, these look exactly like rice hats, except the fact that they're giant and more like uh, umbrellas or, you know, sunshades. Uh, let's see. Here's the fourth section. The fourth section is celebrating the spirit. This has a lot to do with, uh, there's a lot of flower pictures in this one. Um, a lot of lanterns. It talks about some festivals. You see uh, some religious significance. Uh, yeah, it's a good one of the some flowers for sale. Um, pictures from markets. Uh, yeah, there you go. So anyway, again, not a lot of reading, but uh, if you're if you're too uh, have too much of a headache or uh, uh, are getting too lost in your mundane life and want a little bit of an escape, a visual escape, um, into a world that, uh, unless you live in Vietnam, is most likely not yours and uh, expand your horizons a little bit, uh, check out this book. It's, uh, it's a really quick, just kind of peruse through it. You can have it on your coffee table um, and uh, just kind of lightens your day up. So, Timeless Vietnam, photographs by Ken Tang. All right, check out you guys and check out uh, my other reviews. All right, goodbye.